Hello students, as we know there are seven treatments. In this video today we will learn the second treatment and that is discounting of will. Let us understand discounting of will with the help of an example. Mr. A sold goods worth rupees 10,000 to Mr. B. Mr. A becomes seller, Mr. B becomes buyer. Mr. A delivered the goods. Mr. B did not make the payment, but in return, Mr. B is accepting the bill, which is drawn by Mr. A. Now, Mr. A has an option to keep that bill with himself for three months and go to Mr. B after three months. But Mr. A is in need of cash. Usko emergency hai. Usko abhi ke abhi paisa chahiye. So what Mr. A can do is, Mr. A will go to bank and he will ask money. Ka bank paisa dega? Yes, of course, bank will make the payment, but bank will not make the entire payment. Bank will deduct certain amount. Why deduct karega? Because bank ka kya fayda var? Because over here, bank will have to wait for three months. Why three months wait karna padega bank ko? Because Troy will make the payment to bank after three months. So that's the reason bank will make the payment to Mr. A, but bank will not give the entire amount. Bank will deduct certain amount after that. Let's take an example, 10,000 ka bill da. So, bank will not give the entire 10,000. Bank will give, let's say, 9,800. So, here 200 rupiah bank ne kya kiya? Apne paas rakha. Now, after three months, you tell me, the bill is with whom? The bill is with bank. And bank will go to Droi. Bank will give that bill to Droi. And Droi in return will make the payment. Or kya Droi 9,800 dega? Kya 9,800 dega? Nahi. Droi will make the entire payment of 10,000. So now bank ka kya fayda? 200 rupees. Why? Because when bank gave amount to Mr. A, so bank only paid 9,800. But bank received 10,000. So here there was a discount of 200 which bank deducted. And that is the reason it is called discounting of will. Why? Because bank is not paying the entire amount to drawer. So kya drawer ko chalega? Ha chalega. Why not? Because he is in emergency. He is in emergency need of cash. So, drawer ko to paisa mil gaya. Chala, mana 200 rupiah kam mila. But uska requirement to fulfill ho gaya. And bank ko kya hai? Bank will wait for 3 months and after that he will receive 10,000 entire amount from Roy. So, this is called discounting of bill. Where the bank is discounting certain amount against that bill which is receiving from drawer. So, let us put this entire story into journal. Again, we have to think from both the point of view. From the point of view of drawer and the point of view of Roy. So, the same transaction which is goods sold will be credit sales in the books of drawer and credit purchases in the books of Roy. So, now tell me, credit sales ka entry kya aega? It is very simple. Roy is account debit to sales account. Why Roy is account debit to sales account? Roy is the receiver. Debit the receiver. And sales is our income. Credit all incomes and gains. So, Roy is account debit to sales account. But in the books of Roy, what will be the entry? Purchases account debit to drawers account. Why purchases account debit? Because purchases are expense. So debit all expenses and losses. And drawers account is credited. Why? Because credit the giver. So again, in the books of drawer, the entry will be drawers account debit to sales account. And in the books of Roy, the entry will be purchases account debit to drawers account. After that, who is making that bill? Who is drawing that bill? Drawer. And who is accepting that bill? Drawer. So, in the books of drawer, for receiving acceptance, what will be the entry? Bills receivable account debit to drawer's account. And in the books of drawer, what will be the entry? Drawer's account debit to bills payable account. Now, let us understand with the logic. Q bills receivable debit kia? Because debit what comes in. And Q drawer credit kia? Because credit the giver. And over here, the entry is drawer's account debit to bills payable account. Why drawer's account debit? Because debit the receiver. What is he receiving? Bill. And bills payable credit. Why bills payable credit? Because bill is going out. After that, is he retaining that bill with himself? No. What he does is, he goes to bank and he discounts that bill with bank. So now the transaction is taking place between bank and drawer. So what entry he will pass? What happens? Just imagine, he is receiving cash. So, cash account is debited and bill is going out. The bill account is credited, bills receivable is credited, but he is not receiving the entire cash. You remember the example 10,000, 9,800, 200. What was that 200? Was the discount amount and discount is the loss for drawer. So, he will debit discount account. So, your entry will be cash account debit, discount account debit to bills receivable account. Now, tell me, will there be any entry in the books of drawing? No. Why not? 
because there is no transaction happening in the books of doi why because the transaction was between drawer and bank and since the drawer is not involved in the transaction there will be no entry in the books of drawer after that now the bill is kept with bank and bank will have to wait for 3 months after 3 months bank will go to drawer and bank will give that bill to drawer and drawer will make the payment now tell me who is receiving the payment bank who is making the payment drawer the transaction is taking place between bank and drawer is drawer involved in the transaction no so kya us book mein entry aayega nahi aayega but roy ki book mein to definitely entry will come what entry will come in the books of roy again what is he receiving bill what is he giving cash so bills payable account debit to cash bank account so again the book in the books of roy the entry will remain same now if the roy doesn't make the payment bill becomes dishonor see either the bill can be honor or dishonor means either you will have to make the entry for honor of the bill or dishonor of the bill in this case if the bill dishonors can bank do anything to roy no बैंक विल गो टू ड्रॉवर एंड ड्रॉवर विल गो टू ड्रॉइ सो जो बिल बैंक के पास पड़ा है वो किसके मुंह पे मारेगा वो ड्रॉवर के मुंह पे मारेगा एंड ड्रॉवर वो बिल किसके मुंह पे मारेगा ड्रॉई के मुंह पे मारेगा क्यों मारेगा बिकॉज पैसा नहीं दिया क्यों नहीं दिया वो ड्रॉई को पता तो अब क्या करेंगे इसके लिए एंट्री जस्ट इमेजिन क्या हो रहा है यहाँ पे फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ ड्रॉवर इफ यू इमेजिन बैंक आया बैंक ने क्या दिया बिल दिया तो बैंक इज दी गिवर बैंक इज दी गिवर एंड मैंने किसको बिल दिया ड्रॉई को तो ड्रॉई इज द रिसीवर ड्रॉई इज द रिसीवर डेबिट द रिसीवर क्रेडिट द गिवर रिसीवर ऑफ व्हाट बिल गिवर ऑफ व्हाट बिल बिल क्या मेरे पास था नहीं था किसके पास था बैंक के पास था सो डेबिट द रिसीवर ड्रॉई इज अकाउंट इज डेबिटेड क्रेडिट द गिवर बैंक इज द गिवर अगेन रिसीवर ऑफ बिल गिवर ऑफ बिल डेबिट द रिसीवर क्रेडिट द गिवर ड्रॉई इज अकाउंट डेबिट टू बैंक अकाउंट दिस इज द एंट्री फॉर दिस ऑनर ऑफ बिल इन दिस केस Now, in the books of draw, you just imagine what happens. Who came? After that, draw came. Draw ne kya diya? Bill diya. So bill aaya. Bills payable account debit. Who gave it? Draw ne. Is draw concerned with bank? No, not at all. Bank se lena dena hai. Kya nahi lena dena hai? So this was about dishonor of entry. I hope that you have understood the entire dishonor entries and the theory part of this lecture. If you like this video, you can subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you.